Greetings and welcome everyone to this video where we talk about uh, speculative things. Uh, the speculative thing for this week is going to be similar to the speculative thing of last week. Uh, last week we talked about what would happen if Aptera doesn't make it. Now we're going to talk about what happens if Aptera does make it. Um, yeah, this is going to be, again, a speculative video, although I will have some concrete numbers in here uh, based on my research to kind of put into context the impact that Aptera could have. So, let's go ahead and get started. Imagine, if you will, a future where the innovation and propagation of solar technology in power plants, uh, homes, and finally mobility has driven the technology forward. We leapfrogged perovskites into the next step that will be 52% efficient. The doubling of energy collected from solar panels as a result of widespread adoption in solar vehicles makes charging a meaningful amount of range on your electric vehicle through solar a possibility. Though since meaningful is not unlimited, automotive companies realize that they must make their cars smaller and more efficient to keep up since solar is as important in the year 2030 as NAX adoption was back in 2023. Electric vehicles, by and large, bypass the grid entirely except for long road trips and larger transport vehicles as reliance on fossil fuels continues to plummet, accelerating the end of global warming and securing the future of mankind. I believe that future is a real possibility because of what Aptera could bring to the market. The Convenience offered by the ability to get free fuel for your electric vehicle cannot be overstated. The dream of leaving fuel behind forever has been the topic of countless sci-fi works, although very rarely the central theme. I have never personally asked someone if you could opt out of spending money on gas, would you? And they said no. Not once. Like, never. Let's talk about what I believe would happen if Aptera succeeds. I must admit that while Aptera is nowhere near as obscure as it was when I heard about it two years ago, it is still rare for me to mention the company to a friend, a co-worker, or to a family member, and they know what I'm talking about. The reason why this is important is that when Aptera hits production and the benefits of free driving from the sun becomes more mainstream, I believe that the, ex the expectation moving forward is that all electric vehicles should have some solar on it even if for that minuscule three-ish miles that Tesla alluded to in their research into solar panels. Because solar will be more or less expected uh, through people saying terms like, wait, your car doesn't charge itself? Uh, that will push adoption rates higher and move Aptera or concepts like Aptera more into the mainstream. Eventually, solar electric vehicles will be the only electric vehicles. First things first, we'll talk about emissions associated with a gas car, a battery electric vehicle, and finally a solar battery electric vehicle. The average combustion vehicle emits 4,600 kilograms of CO2 per year. This assumes approximately 11,500 miles per year at 22.2 miles per gallon, which are the current averages for both numbers in America. I will be ignoring all the other extremely dangerous chemicals for brevity's sake, but that equates to around a fairly large African elephant's worth of CO2 emitted per year per car. Emissions due to charging are so much more convoluted that I had to do my own calculations, so I will share my calculations on screen and my sources in the description. Assuming the average of all energy generation uh, emissions, you can expect emissions of about 388 grams per kilowatt hour. For this number, I took an average of four sources since I could not readily verify any of them and they all had obvious leanings that seemed to skew their numbers either for or against uh, electric vehicles. Considering stuff like losses, you can round the number off to about 400 grams per kilowatt hour, which has the bonus of making my math easier. Yeah, so uh, uh, if you 
hash that out based on the average miles per kilowatt hour, uh, three, for an EV, that means that for a year of driving, for the average American in an EV, you are putting out approximately 1,533 kilograms of CO2 per year, which is equivalent to the weight of a large fully grown cow. With a solar electric vehicle like the Aptera, that touts 30-ish miles of free driving per day. Uh, that translates to uh, very nearly 11,000 miles of solar driving per year, by the way. Uh, you would have an impact of 73.2 kilograms per year, which is less than the average weight of an American male human type person, and slightly more than the average weight of an Asian male human type person. So yeah, essentially one average, average dude is uh, the emissions from the Aptera. The environmental impact of Aptera is so mind boggling that I can scarcely imagine that uh, people in the market for a, a commuter or a grocery getter and cares anything about their footprint would consider anything else, honestly. Uh, the total environmental impact of Aptera was really difficult to calculate, but if you remember my Where Aptera Could Go video, I'm going to assume that the uh, one-tenth case for sales is the accurate one. If you have not been, uh, if you have not watched that video, I will link it below, but I would suggest to fully understand what I'm talking about in that context, just go ahead and check that out really quick. Um, but yeah, essentially, in the one-tenth scenario that I gave, uh, in 14 years, Aptera could be selling something like 2.6 million vehicles per year, which would, as a result, remove between 3.98 and 11.96 billion kilograms of CO2 emissions, assuming the lower end being the electric vehicle, and uh, standard electric vehicle, and then the higher end being the average CO2 emissions. Uh, that is between 7,971 and 23,920 Burj Khalifas worth in weight. Uh, that higher number, uh, that would be more than enough mass if it were condensed into a meteor to uh, deep, deeply impact, if not end, life on the planet. Uh, if the meteor were big and, and uh, sorry, if the meteor were enough. Uh, to not break up in the atmosphere and what have you. With all that said, uh, Aptera could metaphorically remove a life-destroying asteroid's worth of CO2 from the atmosphere every year. Uh, with, um, with that said, uh, while I will admit that people as a whole are a lot more aware of their environmental impact now than in the past, the average Joe or Jane Doe a go-go has no care for what their emissions are. So let's talk dollars and cents. A gallon of gas, as of the writing of this video, is three dollars and ten cents. Uh, an average gallon of gas, by the way, which makes the cost per mile of a gas vehicle fourteen cents per mile for fuel, which only accounts for around fifty percent of the total cost of ownership per mile at about twenty-eight cents. Uh, these numbers are for a smaller vehicle, like a, a compact car. Uh, just trying to make it as uh, cheap as possible because that's what uh, I look at in a car is uh, overall efficiency, cheapness, um, easy to maintain, blah, blah, blah. You know why I like Aptera. Anyway, um, that total cost uh, was kind of based on a 15,000 mile scenario, not an 11,500 mile scenario originally. So I had to adjust the numbers and the adjustments are the numbers that are put uh, in the uh, in the math that I did here. Over 10 years, that cost amounts to about $32,200 in maintenance and fuel. So for a smaller vehicle that you drive 11,500 miles per year, uh, the $32,200 would be for maintenance and fuel over a decade. For an EV, as you might imagine, that figure is lower, but not as drastically lower as I anticipated. So yeah, buckle up folks. Uh, the average cost of a kilowatt hour of energy in the US as of February this year is 23 cents. If you divide that number by three miles per kilowatt hour that I cited earlier, the cost per mile of electricity is around seven cents for an EV over the course of um, a mile. 
EV maintenance is also a bit less at 12 cents per mile. So with a total cost of about 19 cents per mile, over 10 years, that's about $21,850. Yeah, so 32 down to 21, um, if you get an electric vehicle, that's a pretty decent savings. $10,000 makes a big difference in uh, most people's lives, including my own. Uh, by comparison, uh, Aptera is a little bit odd. The cost per mile for electricity as far as charging goes is the same as an electric vehicle, but the number of miles you have to pay for to charge is very small. Maintenance of a vehicle boils down to how many parts fail and have to be repaired. Another thing that Aptera has done is reduce the number of components, but we'll talk about that in a moment. At about 550 miles per year, the Aptera's cost for fuel, assuming 10 years at 11,500 miles, travel per year would be $385. Yeah. $385. Maintenance costs for uh, the Aptera have not been observed or calculated, but most of maintenance boils down to the numbers of parts replaced or serviced. The fewer parts, the less maintenance would be the quick and dirty way of looking at it. Because Aptera will have approximately one-tenth one -tenth the parts, I would expect them to have less than half the maintenance per year. I know that's going to be a very dubious and to some inexcusable oversimplification, but uh, that's what the comment section is for. At any rate, assuming half the cost of another EV, the total for 10 years of maintenance uh, ownership for an Aptera would be 6,900, nice, plus the $385 for fueling, which is $7,285 over 10 years. If you ask someone if they would rather pay $32,000 or $7,200 for their commuter uh, in maintenance, I don't know too many people that would opt for paying more. Uh, putting an extra 25 grand in the pocket of the average American over 10 years can change that person's life. Investing, traveling, paying off debt, donating to charity, heck even buying one silly fun or wasteful thing to reward their hard work through the year would be a huge deal to many. According to some scientists, we have already set a future in motion where the world could see record-breaking heat waves, tsunamis, and other natural disasters on a regular or frequent basis. I cannot say with certainty, heck no one can really, uh, what the future holds, but the lessons from our past make these uh, predictions at least worth consideration. The past tells me that when humankind, from the individual to families to cities to countries, uh, ignore potential problems of an immediate nature, those problems become long-term and in some cases existential in nature. We have ignored or delayed the correct actions on climate change for a long, long while. History tells me that doing nothing to address such a big problem only causes more problems. Avoiding making a mess or cleaning up the mess that we make seems like common sense when you drop some food on the floor at home. So I can scarcely imagine how much more important those things are when making a mess of the atmosphere could have much more severe consequences than being grounded because your mom stepped on a bit of spaghetti sauce you dropped and her socks got wet. Not that I have any personal experience with that kind of thing. Yeah, um, Aptera has the opportunity to be a world-changing event when it comes to climate change in America. The adoption of the principles of Aptera um, in the automotive industry and the global economy and all kinds of things like that would be deeply impactful and potentially stave off a problem that humankind has been struggling with for decades. Now I'm not saying that because they have the potential to be uh, this amazing impact on the world that they will necessarily be that. Uh, that will boil down to how prepared Aptera is for the uh, world-changing, uh, globe-rocking uh, madness that they are about to wreak upon the uh, automotive industry. So, um, yeah, time will tell, but from what I can see, Aptera has a potential to do something great. So, yeah, why not support them? Um, 
yeah, why not, why not uh, get ready for that future? So anyway, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for uh, taking the time to watch this entire thing. Uh, please do the youtube -y things down below, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Imagine, if you will, a future where the innovation and propagation of solar technology in power plant, personal... Good grief. Get over it. Get it, get it together. Mind over matter. Or mind over itself. Yeah, anyway.